Hello everyone, it's Cyber Emerald here, bringing you guys another Coolia Prep video. Now, with Coolia Prep comes good voice, good speech, good echo, and good overall. You know, overall, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the day before the Wednesday. So we're here. Wednesday is here, and then final is right here, Thursday. Thursday the 18th. So, cool gift prep. What What are you doing? So, cool gift prep, Um, the actual thing itself. Oh, you can't. Man. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll just, um... I'll do a screen recording of that of our slideshow after. So this is, this is going to be my last video on Coolia Prep because I won't be able to put another one out, but I may go through it twice. Now with that being said, I'm gonna just do my whole everything I say, everything, not just my part, everything I say. It's gonna be a bit different from last time. So strap yourself in, pay attention, give me some feedback, verbal, negative, maybe and negative and positive would be nice. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we are back. And now, I will be starting. Well, technically, I'm not starting the presentation, so let's just pretend. Hello, I'm so-and-so, this is so-and-so, and this is so-and-so. We Are Project is going to be on... Wait, that's not my part. Okay, hold on. Restart. Okay, Coolia Prep, round three. So, moving swiftly onto the agenda. Um, on our agenda, we have our introduction, which is going to be our montage. Uh, history, effects, and past solutions of racism. Our conclusion, which is going to be our montage part two. And pictures of spreading awareness around campus. Now... Um, you guys will only be able to hear this one. That's fine. It's going to be this one. I have a dream that one day this nation will all rise up, live out the true meaning of its creeds. We hold these truths to be self evident that all men are created. Another deplorable statement said by the President of the United States. Why are we having all these people from whole countries come here? I have a dream that one day all the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners, will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the Every single case, it's some little black asshole behaving like a savage. Thank you. 
Now moving on to the history of racism. Skipping all that because that's not my part at all. Now going through the effects of racism. Now I will be covering this section. Um, starting with discrimination. Now discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of the different categories of people or things. Especially on the grounds of age, race, or sex. The la discrim a, f a form of discrimination may be a show may right lack of education a dark skinned person may receive is a s at a school is a sign of discrimination. A dark skinned person may be tailed at a store or around town because of the bias or untrue knowledge of that particular race. In this case, African Americans. For example, a dark-skinned individual will be leaning against a wall outside a store, then a police officer comes and accuses and harasses the guy of loitering in a public place. Then he does an unlawful search and seizure, without a warrant and without proof of suspicious activity. In the photo, you can see a figure colored red and the rest colored shades of gray. This is an example of discrimination, where people avoid a person of color because of the false information that's given. Segregation is the action or state of setting someone or something apart from other people or things. Segregation was brought upon by the Jim Crow laws. Segregation is the separation of two different objects, people, or things. For example, a dark-skinned man will be punished if he goes into a white man's school, or if a black man refuses to give up his or her seat to a white man on a bus. In the community, segregation is everywhere, on a bus, public restrooms, schools, water fountains, and in much more places. In schools, the schools are separated. Whites had better funding and education, while black-skinned schools had less funding operated by white men and not as great education. On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks was a dark-skinned woman that was forced to sit in the back of a bus because of the Jim Crow laws. She disobeyed bus driver Jane Blake's demand to give up her seat to a white man. She refuses and ends up getting arrested. She knew that the segregation was not fair. She also knew that the set of Jim Crow laws were also not fair. A, 20, a 2010 study of 277 children of color presented at the Pediatric Academic Society's meeting in Vancouver revealed a strong link 
a strong link between racial discrimination and depression. Roughly two-thirds of the study subjects were black or Latino, while another 19% were multiracial. The study led Lee M. Patcher asked the students if they'd been discriminated against 23 different ways, including being racially profiled, while shopping or called offensive names. 88% of the kids said they had indeed experienced racial discrimination. Racism victims not only suffer from bouts of depression, but from suicide attempts as well. The fact that psychiatric treatment remains illegal in many communities of color and that the healthcare industry in itself seems to be racist, making the problem worse. A new study by researchers at Norway University, Har Harvard, and the Institute of Social Research in Norway looked at every available field experiment of hiring discrimination from 1989 through 2015. The researchers found that anti-black racism in hiring has unchanged since at least 1989. They looked at two kinds of experiments, resumes and in-person statements. In the first, resume researchers sent out resumes with similar levels of education, experience, and so on, but the names differ. So some resumes having a stereotypically black name, while the others have a stereotypically white name. In the second, applicants go in person to apply for jobs and each share similar qualifications, but some are white while others are black or brown. In total, the researchers found 24 studies with 30 estimates of discrimination for black African Americans. Collectively, researchers more re re representing more than 54,000 applications submitted for more than 25,000 positions. They concluded that on average, White applicants receive 36% more callback than equally qualified African Americans. Some disadvantages for African Americans may be lower schooling and education opportunities, a smaller selection of job positions. Again, the healthcare industry in itself seems to be racist. A survey from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation showed that fear of discrimination influences whether to seek medical care, call the police when in need, and even drive or attend social events. For example, nearly one-third, 32 percent of 800, 802 black ad adults surveyed say they have pers personally experienced racial discrimination while going to the doctor or health clinic, while 22 percent among seeking medical care out of fear of racist discrimination. Meanwhile, 60 percent of blacks say they or a family member have been unfairly stopped or mistreated by police because they are black. And nearly one-third, 31%, say fear of discrimination has led them to avoid calling the police even when in need. Not attending social events can be a type of isolation. It could be depression. People may be offended, angry, upset, or any other emotion from racist discrimination, leading them to avoid large crowds or social events. The profile that all whites see a person as is the stereotypes and the look. But just because a person is black does not mean that the person was or even a threat. From the American Civil Liberties Union stated that uh, racial profiling is a long-standing and deeply troubling national problem. Despite claims that the university states that enabling post-racial era, it occurs every day in clinics and low towns across the country. When law enforcement and private security target people of color, for humiliating and often frightening detentions, interrogations, and searches without evidence of criminal activity, and based on perceived race, ethnicity, national origin, or religion. Racial profiling is potentially illegal, violating the U.S. Constitution's core promise of equal protection under, under the law, to all and freedom from unreasonable searches and seizures. Just as importantly, racial profiling is ineffective. It aligns communities from law enforcement, hinders community po policing efforts, and causes the law enforcement to lose credibility and trust among the people they are sworn to protect and serve. How harsh are these effects? Well, these effects can be life-threatening depending on the way the victim takes it. Now that is the end of my section. Moving through to the past solutions of racism, not my part. Like I, thank you.
for taking the time out of your day to watch this presentation. Now, for our conclusion, we will be playing another montage. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, J.R. demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been mm -hmm. seared in the flames of withering to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. One hundred years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. One hundred years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. Now. For our unique solution of this issue, what we did was we hung posters around our campus to show how that we have actually done something to either promote people to stand up to racial bullying or for people to be motivated to not let it take their lives. Um... Any questions? That's it. That's it. That's it. It already took 18 minutes, but that's because some of it was kind of like cuts off. So that's pretty good, don't you guys think? Yeah. All right, then. Once again, please give me ver... not verbal, but um, suggestions in the comment section. I will be reading through them shortly. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, Montage Part 2, the second one. It's going out today. Look out for that.